Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Ask the Hub. Uh, today I'm joined by Marche Novak, who is the co-founder of Awesome Studio. Uh, Marche, it's a pleasure. Thanks for taking the time to come. Thank you very much for inviting me. This is also a pleasure for me. So thank you. Great, Marche. Uh, so, you know, tell us a little bit more about Awesome Studio. Sure. Uh, awesome Studio is a WordPress and WooCommerce digital agency for technology companies. And by this, I mean, we work a lot with, for example, software vendors, with SaaS companies, with consumer electronic manufacturers, and we help them build their WordPress and WooCommerce solutions or take the existing ones to another level, solving their problems, for example. So this is what we do in a nutshell. So you've already introduced the topic for today, uh, which is WooCommerce. Uh, tell us a little bit about this technology. Sure. So WooCommerce is a platform that is built on top of WordPress, and this lets you build your um, online store very easily. So this comes as a, a, at a great benefit because using WordPress, it means there are so many users already familiar with WordPress way of thinking and um, the tools inside, but also a lot of developers and a huge community. So with this comes a lot of functionalities already available. Also, the structure of the software is modular, which means you can build Mm, and gradually enhance your solution with the time, with growing needs, for example. So this is very elastic environment where you can do a lot of um, important, um, build a lot of important functionalities very easily. Yes, absolutely. And, you know, uh, WooCommerce and WordPress have a huge community. And, um, you know, I've been guilty of sometimes choosing technology that is does not have a very big uh, community, but it's the, you know, the new, uh, you know, fancy product on the market. Uh, but yeah, you know, in order to solve the smallest of problems, uh, it takes a lot of time. Uh, but if you have a great community around the technology, then it's a lot easier to solve problems. So that, that makes a lot of sense. But, you know, I've also had, uh, you know, some comments uh, about WooCommerce, you know, being suitable for, you know, small products or small businesses. Uh, and sometimes, you know, um, the criticism is that, you know, it's not the best solution for bigger businesses or companies that are scaling up. Uh, what are your comments on this? Sure. Yeah, I get this a lot, you know, and the reason, my opinion, that the reason for it is not the technology, but the people behind it. So... Be, being able to build a website, you know, in one afternoon or uh, an e-commerce or built on ready-made templates in one afternoon means that there are a lot of companies or even freelancers coming, trying to build something from scratch and are failing on the robustness of the solution. So this means that the quality of such implementations is poor. And this is not a technology aspect, it's the people aspect. And... You know, we are, for example, a uh, WordPress uh, VIP silver partner. There is only a handful of companies around the world with such a status. This means that, you know, we are asked such questions, but by the big companies, with by, by technology companies with um, big number of products, for example, and they are asking if the WooCommerce is a suitable solution for them. And this is true. This is a suitable solution provided the implementation is of top quality and you know this is you know this is something where we need to synchronize very often because that opinion untrue is very prominent but because there there's so many companies that provide subpar quality services for woocommerce development Okay, that's great. So, you know, you're solving some of, uh, you know, the key issues for a lot of these companies and businesses. Um, what would you say is the typical type of company that comes through the door for you all? Um, and, you know, what are the problems that you solve for them? Sure. So we work rather often with big companies, very rarely with smaller ones. So still, if you have a couple of hundreds of products or if your website is visited by you know, a couple of hundreds of thousand uh, users, this means that the implementation has to be really um, top quality. But still, those companies either grow, so, they're change, so their needs are changing and needs adaptation, or they have started small and the solution is not you know, matching their needs at all. And we are hearing three questions most of the time. So uh, no, question number one, can we solve the instability issue issues with their platform? Can we fix the security? And if we can add a dead 
and editability to the website. So very often our clients are changing the agency because the previous one is failing for numerous reasons, or there are too many plugins, for example, introducing security threats, for example. And then there is a huge trend with the marketing team to provide them with editability issues so they are um, capable capable of um, implementing changes on their own. They are they don't want to be dependent on the agency uh, to implement the changes. And we are enhancing their websites with the editability functionalities. Uh, you know making them um, really um, self-sufficient, let's say. So those are three main areas we, we help um, companies. Of course, also we are building platforms platforms from scratch, but those three areas are most prominent right now as a trend, let's say. That's great. Okay, so, you know, these are some, uh, you know, really uh, advanced problems that you solve for a lot of your, um, a lot of your customers. Um, so from your experience, what would you say are some of the you know, key tips you would give uh, for people who are trying to uh, you know, use WooCommerce within their businesses or are contemplating on whether to include it uh, in their technology stack? Uh, what are some of the key tips you would give them? Sure, sure. Uh, we have a lot of experience in fixing the website. So what we are seeing is that, for example, fixing the website very often is even more complicated that, than build it from scratch. And with this in mind uh, and with those experiences, we see a lot of times that, for example, the product page is not performing well. It means that, for example, it served slow. And this is together with the home page is the most important page because product page is where you are landing from the SEO results, from the campaigns, from the PPC uh, you know, ads in Google, for example. So you are spending money on this traffic landing on your product page so you have to make sure that you are doing your best um, for the customer to be served quickly otherwise you are losing the traffic you already spent money on so my advice number one would be to check and pay a lot of attention and uh, put a lot of effort into optimization of the product pages this is number one and the second um, thing is to see you know, one thing is if the product page is served quickly, but the other one is how does the checkout journey look like? So take your friend or two or a couple of them and ask them to buy something on your page, on your website. Ask them to find something, see how the search um, is performing, and then ask them to buy. You can, you know, uh, refund them later, but see where do they struggle? Where are the points where they don't know what to do or are getting frustrated? And if it is around checkout or the checkout process, this means you have to rework something or you have to fix something because if they want to buy something and are stopping on checkout, it means you already spent money on acquiring them and you cannot convert them. And this is, you know, this means you are losing money on on customers that cannot be converted so i guess that if you implement those two advices you will be much better off uh, later on that's great that concludes uh, you know some great information about woocommerce uh, thanks a lot marche for taking the time uh, to share all of this great information with our viewers um, for our viewers, uh, if you have any comments or questions regarding WooCommerce, WordPress, uh, please feel free to uh, leave them down in the comments or even let us know. Um, and we, me and Marche, will uh, get back to you with most of your questions. Uh, thanks so much, Marche. Uh, it was a pleasure catching up with you today. Uh, looking forward to the next one. Pleasure is all mine. And thank you very much for having me.